shout out to all our amazing subscribers. Yes, thanks, thanks everyone. Friends. Lots of awesome subs coming in. Lots of awesome people. Gil, of course, reminds us the mac and cheese power couple. This is, yeah. this is good news. I would hope to be part of uh, uh, or quadruple. I mean, we do have <laughs> vegan cheese, uh, vegan yes. mac and cheese in the house. Unless mm. it has been consumed yeah. since we purchased it. No, we specifically yeah. have vegan mac and cheese in this house. Uh, not anymore, you don't. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need cheese before a stream. I've told you this. It's all gone. Uh, Get it off. Where? My belly. My <laughs> <laughs> gullet. My gullet. Ah. <sighs> Flawless start, everyone. I'd say totally. so. Yeah. Well well, bravo. Well, bravo. 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 Yes, yes, Tally yes. Hope. Clap, 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 clap. Round of applause. Thank you. Uh, how is everybody out there in chat land? Hopefully you're doing well. Super appreciated that we got some uh, um, awesome hype. Yeah. Really cool stuff. Coming in. Um, but uh, we also have hype coming in here. We have a very specific reason for hype. Oh. Kind of an interesting one. Uh <laughs> it is it's all so, which gone. means that we're actually going to segue like right into this and i believe if i don't miss my guess it is kate's or scott's turn it gets me scott i'm gonna jump in on this yes we're gonna segue right into the most important thing that we do here in chat oh, for fuck's sake scott get it together <laughs> it was upside down we're gonna talk about god damn it safety <laughs> safety is really important and I, I i do joke around a lot but i don't joke around about this we have tools to keep ourselves safe and having fun on RPG Clinic. You out there in the audience don't have these same tools, but you do have options. I'm gonna get to those in a second, but first, what are these cards? This green card here, the play card, uh, means that I feel safe, to, oops, sorry, I feel safe to continue, even if I may outwardly not seem that way because of role playing. It means good to go. The yellow card here, the pause card, means that I have to say something and make it known at the table before I feel safe to continue. Play can continue as soon as the card has gone down. The red card, however, is a stop. That means that I don't feel safe to continue for any reason. There's no judgment attached to it or anything like that, but we need to discuss it. Because we're streaming, we're probably gonna go to a BRB or end the stream to discuss these things. But once things have been discussed and everybody feels safe to continue, we will. Like I said before, of course, you in the audience don't have these cards, these wonderful magical cards that I was referencing on a little reference thing, even. Uh, but you do have options uh, if, uh, for your own safety. You can feel free to message a mod. We've got Kung Fu Fenris here, Safety Wolf, in the chat. Um, if you need to make something known, you can also message us directly, RPG Clinic. It will go to a screen that we're all seeing here. Um, because we can't necessarily accommodate everyone or everything at all times the most important option that you can exercise for yourself if you're not feeling safe you can leave the stream and the chat we don't want to see you go but if you have to that is the most important thing so do that thank you so a question can we just mm. hold up those green cards one more time yeah. uh these are our prototypes actually uh we ordered them from what we eventually plan to be our major distributor or one of them uh, there's a better distributor specifically for the United States. This is the better distributor for everywhere else in the world. And the question is, though, like what you can't notice is that there's a few subtle differences between these cards. Um, I think that effectively for the three players, the the cards are functionally identical. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to tell what the differences are. We already know that, and we're going to eliminate it's the extraneous differences that aren't going to make a difference. But you will <laughs> notice that perhaps my card is different than your, uh, than the player's. My question is, for people out there, just out of curiosity, not that this is binding or anything, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the card that I'm holding in my hand or the cards that the players are holding in their hands? Please don't take the fact that there's three of them and one of me into account. No, there, there are subtle patterns on mine and Scott's that you can't see, and mine has a QR code that can't be scanned. Uh, so ultimately, oh, sorry. you may as well just be comparing those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, we'll actually put them close together. Whee! And Very cool. Here, we'll make sure that they're about the same size there. I think they show up super, like, I just think it's so cool they show up so well. Uh, I love these little references They're as well. durable. They're, yeah. They're small enough to stick into a pocket. Or if you were LARPing, you could, like, shove them under your shoulder and be like, Ha-ha! I need my safety cards. Now I can get them. 
Oh, interesting. Gil's watching in like super <laughs> high depth, yeah. I think. <laughs> it's it's all out. That's cool. You can see the pattern? Or some sort of difference between them. Uh, no, I'm Your green myself. might look slightly darker because I'm holding it closer to a light, but... Mm. But okay, Otherwise, so they should we've, be got a few, yeah. we've got a few votes for bigger and clearer this side of the table, so to speak. So it's easier to see from your small screen. Interesting, because it's the enough. consensus in person yeah. was that the smaller symbol was better. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you've got... I mean, the thing is, we're actually kind of planning on having both. Because mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is, these are designed not just for tabletop, but also for LARP play. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, that's why we went with a durable plastic card yeah. as opposed to a, a, a cardboard card. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, you can't really tear these. Oh uh, I mean, you could crease them if you really tried. I, I'm not going to because these are our only prototypes at the moment, but um, they're double-sided, so they show mm -hmm. the same on both sides. Uh, and the set, so one mm -hmm. of these decks will come with five sets of safety cards and a little instruction card that goes with it. And I, I, I really- So far, yeah. we might change. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of different like systems for safety at role-playing games. And of course it would depend a little bit on like the size of your group, the type of role-playing that you're doing, the type of game that you're, whatever it is. But I really feel like this system in particular, yes, it's the one we use, so I'm biased, but I feel like it's, uh, it speaks it to us. It speaks to us, mm -hmm. and I feel like it would hold up well in a variety of different situations, which is awesome. Yes. And you can make the choices for yourself, yeah. Hmm. yeah. I also might try one where we split the difference, because these were initially designed with a slightly different dimensions. So when it was ah. time to print them, I was just like, ah, oh, fuck, uh, resize, boom. Um, so I think something between <laughs> oh, the proportions of mine and John's. Uh, might, the, might do. the symbols mm -hmm. exist partially to accommodate the, those who have difficulty distinguishing color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the majority of users will distinguish based on color. Mm -hmm. And Osab saying that the smaller circle means that more of the color is visible. That's mm -hmm. something to take into yeah. account. Look, there's a lot that yeah. goes into design of these things. I, I appreciate having a live test group here. Yeah, it's oh. great. <laughs> Thanks, maybe, maybe we'll bring it up at uh, clinic hours this week as well. We'll, uh, we'll bring that up. That's how it's played. Will we get a little preview of what, what's happening on clinic hours later? Oh, yeah. There's a special it's announcement talking. about clinic hours that is definitely going to happen today. Um, but I'll give you a very brief rundown. Uh, clinic hours over the next few weeks. We're going to try it as a as a practice. We'll see if this will work out. But the idea is that we're going to create. Um, we're going to do some case studies in the creation of a new RPG setting and system. Uh, so we'll look at things like how I would design an RPG, Ooh. which is awesome. Like I think. Ah. Everyone's gonna come with their own uh, assumptions about it, I assume. Yeah, they're all and gonna about show you. up and fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, that's me, John. I'm gonna come and fuck it up. But like, no, people will come with assumptions about the about how things are designed, but then about how you might work, which I think is just gonna be fascinating to unpack that. Yeah, and it'll be out there for everyone to see. Mm. Hey, you did this to yourself. Well, so you haven't yet, I guess. <laughs> haven't yet. Yeah. There uh, you. Folks, we've already done the safety thing. We did that pretty early on. I have to ask if you're going to spend any experience. Three, two, one, go. Bam! Oh, it looks like two of you are. Oh! Liz, today, I feel oh. for you. Oh. Thanks, John. How about the two of you? Uh, I bought Sutterfuge 1. It's <laughs> <laughs> so rude. You're just laughing in my no, face. No, it's the fact that you're waiting until you're about to start a poker game to finally work on your poker face. I have poker 3. <laughs> I know, but no Sutterfuge. <laughs> I find that very funny. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'll allow it. Makes it makes me laugh. Look. Oh, God. Oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> I purchased Tailcraft 2 Work the Room. Ooh. Uh, which so you lets can work me, it. Uh, influence a, a room full of pe an audience of people to um, have better performance in expression or similar roles. Mm. One, one, one less difficult. So it kind of like uh -huh. it kind of like makes it so that your performance and expression is easier yeah. to accomplish. Okay, cool. 
Speaking of performance, why don't you perform me up a recap? <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Um, Det had her interview with the mayor, or her meeting, um, in which there was mysteriously a chimera sitting on his filing cabinet, Angry Floof, uh, known as Frederick officially. Uh, and he actually happened to also uh, have a person come in named Candace Cantley, who was a slua, uh, who seemed quite upset with the state of things. Det maybe encouraged the Slua to try to punch Det. Maybe that happened. Maybe, you know. It did. It helped Det's point of getting sports reinstated and the mayor said, yeah, let's try to keep going. But if bad shit happens, I have to shut it down. Mm. Burble uh, then went to loot where he was picked up in this Escalade limo to be taken to a mysterious game. It's all part of their plan to infiltrate the Duke's mysterious game. Uh, Mikkel and Det following close behind. Burble met uh, an Ishu who was also coming to the game named Tala. Uh, she, however, did not make it to the game. She was dragged away. Garroted. Garroted for, for trying to infiltrate it. Chimerically grotted. Yeah, pre Truth. presumably. Not entirely evil. <laughs> I hate, I hate chimerical and real damage. Like, yeah. oh no! I know, I know. I'm sorry. I, I just no, mean no, they no, didn't murder. No, you don't like, need to yeah, be yeah. sorry. Mm. I just, I realize now how I'd fix it. Yeah. Clinic, Thursday. we'll talk about it later. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, and then. Oh, well, no, that's that's it for my part of the recap. Hey, we're at a poker game. Um. Burble is downstairs in the VIP area. Det entered the mortal area of the casino, did so well at Blackjack that she got also invited to the Duke's game. Uh, and Mikkel had a blow dart aimed at her by a, one of the organizers, and then she shoved it through his face. And now she's in too. So we're all inside. How do you enter a room? Invited, snuck, kind of uh, charmed. Just got game, yeah. yeah. yeah invited, invited, charmed. Played. Yeah. Violence. Attack. <laughs> Horrible violence. <laughs> Break the door. Yeah. Look, we, we, we all reunited the party after horrendously splitting the party. Exactly. And yes, Det did meet Matthew Perry. She did. And Mark <laughs> My priority is clearly the astronaut. We like the space. Look, here. if there was an astronaut that everybody wants to meet, it's Chris Hadfield. Chris Hadfield. Hadfield. He's the rock star. Mm. I know. I've met Mark Arno. He was... Nice. <laughs> In that Canadian kind of way. I've met a bunch of famous people that I could name drop. Me. I'm I mean, not going, are you to. going to. Oh, okay. it feels, it feels I, I, I met him. To name drop. I met him quite literally. Oh, oh. no. Oh, oh, don't no, don't Did name him. Did he hold you as a baby? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 That's all right. I was going to be an astronaut. I was never going to be an astronaut. <laughs> I don't know the eyesight for it. Hmm. Stigmatism will like get you right out of that astronaut training core. Yep. I, uh, sorry. Sim similarly, my father wanted to be an uh, Air Force pilot. He doesn't have the eyesight or the teeth. <laughs> sorry for it. Because he has dentures, which you can't have if you're huh. flying. Because fly out of your mouth. I, well, I don't know, oh, but something probably is very bad with it. Yeah. Isn't that wild? I think I think some of it is also that they just sort of make assumptions based yeah, on sure. if you don't have teeth, then there may be other things wrong with you. That's so let's honestly just, fair. Yeah. Let's just say no. Be wrong wrong with my wanted to be RAF or RCAF? Uh, RAF. This is well before he uh, moved here. Good. He ended up doing radar, radar oh. tech, which is cool. I honestly think that's really that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Not in World War II. I just want to be clear that it's oh not that old. Oh my god! But like. Scott's father has a lot of secrets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The real Honestly, reason why this is like how I say that my grandmother worked for British intelligence mm -hmm. during the war, which she did. That's pretty sweet. So there... sometimes I'm like, yeah, my grandmother was a spy. She was not a spy. No, but she was still. Intelligence is important. British intelligence. I have four of that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, I was I disappointed in myself. I have Sorry. this many. Oh, One, two, four. <laughs> That's when military There's is. A... I don't know, like. Troop entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're biased, obviously. Yeah. Do you think they'll have a it's wonderful live USO RPG show? <laughs> do you think one day we'll do like an a live RPG clinic show for like the Canadian Armed Forces? Depending on the direction society goes, Jeez. maybe. Jesus, why? 
Oh, it doesn't. Well, I'm old enough that I can't get drafted troops. anymore. We're hey, jumping hey, straight cool. from live performing at cons to performing. Yeah. I, I hate to tell you this, con. but you're like one year away before you're also going to be too old. Bots not better, live. Better get Bots in there. Live. I better get in there. Bots not live. Huh. Why yes. on earth with the bot not? Or maybe live? it has bad blood with Gil. <laughs> also possible. Oh, is this going to be one of those things where I have to generate the token again? Yes. Yes. Let's generate the token again. <laughs> Oh, how people need to enjoy their quotes. Look, one of the best things on these channels is 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 being able to pull a quote from the quote. <laughs> one of the best things is is uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, I oh, no. definitely fell into a horrible spiral. No, I was remembering that someone suggested channel points on my channel, and I was remembering I should do that. Redeem for silliness. It's exciting, as opposed to what I normally do, which is very serious. No humor from Scotty. <laughs> That's for sure. I challenge myself to like not make a joke for like an hour. Oh God. I know. Oh. It's gonna be really hard. Wouldn't that make you, you explode? For the subscriptions, I guess our bot is catching up. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Is catching Thanks, the fuck up we'll on take all of those things. <gasps> uh, now that oh. I, although I am glad that we made it so that now I can actually log in oh. without kind of bothering Kate. Oh good, my cheese quote made it. APR. <laughs> 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 Oh, thank God, my cheese quote. <laughs> Most important part of life. A shocking lack of cheese quotes, actually, on this channel. I would. It's just like, it's not one in ten, you know what I mean? Uh, the API error is probably not permanent. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm just going to refresh that. Yep, there it is. Okay. All right. We're synopsized. We back. We, uh, we ready? <laughs> <laughs> Wild hunt to supreme <laughs> day. Literally, Roger yep. Twy, press X. Okay, to you're going first. You there. Okay, you're going first. <laughs> Classic Jorik. Why are we petting bag? So pretty. It's got gold tassels and gold edges. It's pretty pretty. Where it's is that bag? Bag Jorik would have. These <laughs> are my new dice by any fail. Any fail, if you're still here, thank you. I'm very. I wasn't holding up a side with a thing on it. Uh, I'm very excited to roll some of these today. So I'm hoping I get to roll these days. Days. Well, I was hoping to surprise you with them. Well, you did. Well, too bad. I'm creeping on them. Oh, no. You hate you hate surprises. I forgot. They're beautiful. And these dark, Whoa. sexy, purple warlock Oh, it's like one of the ones that I have. Yeah. Check yeah. for lumps. No, oh, they seem good. <laughs> Damn it, Roger Twy. Now I have to start the counter over again. Ay yoy. So I move my check for lumps. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anifael. <laughs> well, that's not something I expected to see on stream today, but no, no less are, important. Yeah. Also, go and uh, check your check your downstairs see your too. Doctors. Uh, yeah, 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 that's be healthy. Yeah, yeah, uh, do your best. <laughs> be, be fit and have fun. I'm one year closer Body to break. needing to get my prostate checked. Oh, I can't wait. What a wild ride we are having here. <laughs> Pooks like my ears are burning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just imagining Pook bursting through the door. Did somebody say prostate? <laughs> <laughs> well, any fail, we'll see how they roll, but that's probably on me rather than anyone else. We'll see else. how they roll. You, it's, it's, a, it's a math die of chance. I know. It's not her fault if you fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Pook and Jutsu. <laughs> Woo! I love it. All right. Oh, God. A lot of dice okay. Things. Yeah, there you are. All, All right. right. Who's glad that we're here? Let's go. Hey, me. <clears throat> the best thing about casinos is that they rely on your ability to not understand probability. Uh, there are some people who ostensibly understand probability and just ignore it. The idea that uh, the roll of a die, the flick of a card, the drop of a ball, all of these things are somehow tied to any other system other than random chaos. Mm. And the idea of a house percentage existing, saying that eventually the house will win because that is how probability works. It's a really interesting thing to see because it also reflects across the rest of humanity. Things like if you are an investor and you decide to invest in a single stock, you are basically gambling. The 
smarter investment would be to place it into a mutual fund or an index fund, which is tied to across many different funds. That sort of means that you are investing in the overall economy increasing mm -hmm. as opposed to uh, one particular company back and forth. The same thing with cryptocurrency. Some crypto is going to go to the moon. Some of it's going to crash down into the everywhere. <laughs> uh, Rip Terra coin, I guess. Uh, oh boy. But <laughs> oh the the idea of being able to win based on luck is so tempting. And then you get to poker. Poker is by any metric not simply a game of luck. Luck obviously takes a part in it, but better poker players win and worse poker players lose over time. That's how it goes. This is why you'll see the same people win poker tournaments all the time because they're actually good at poker. It's not that they're luckier than everybody else. So when we're playing today, I'm just going to ask all of you to look at your little random number generators that you've got in your hand. And I want you to think about what you would do if this wasn't actually how your character's lives were determined. Ooh. Maybe it's not probability at all. Maybe Changeling isn't a game of luck. Maybe today it's a game of skill. May I spend some experience before we begin? <laughs> 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 very good. You couldn't see that high five, but it was very satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I'd All like to right. buy a second dot of Sutterfuge. <laughs> oh, take mine. <laughs> Can you remind everybody where you are at this moment in time? I am at the bar inside this VIP room. There, there were two croupiers, mortals. There were three trolls losing at poker to uh, a goldfish puka. Uh, I believe the duke, whoever this is, just walked in. Uh, and Burble's looking over in distress at Gilles, the satyr bartender who has uh, a horrible injury in his mouth now. Um, Det has agreed to be to join this. Uh super VIP game. Getting to play an extra special game was how it was sold. She's agreed she's being escorted down. Uh, Mikkel has just walked in uh, after being the cause of the horrible injury uh, and, I mean, would would tend to Gilles if he would let her. <laughs> uh, Gilles definitely has no interest in having you tend to anything that involves him. Joke's on you, I have medicine three. <laughs> <laughs> You also have <laughs> fuck you up for. Woohoo! It's true. The mickle giveth, the mickle taketh away. <laughs> uh, so, Jill has backed up the two croupiers, although that's, that's not really the yeah, not correct true. term. One of them is a dealer, uh, who, if you'll remember correctly, are mortals. Mm -hmm. uh, they definitely are, you know, standing up and somewhat nonplussed. Not what's happening um and everyone just is sort of like paused for a moment as they stare at each other uh you are still being guided down by the uh casino employee who is assisting you before uh and as said the duke is not there the duke is right. on his way right Uh, I'm gonna leave my drink at the bar and like go over to Mikkel. Um, oh, hi, Chase. Storm over. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? What? Do you, I, I mean, what I say. I knocked on the door first. You weren't invited here. I think you should go. That's rude. I'm here to make sure that there's no funny business. I thought that was the funny business. Is that the is that the goldfish? It puka? is the goldfish puka who is currently pointing at Gilles, who is like touching the oh, the the blowgun and trying to figure out whether it's safe to pull out. Could I do safe to pull out? 
Nice. Uh, could I um, <laughs> could I do a roll to see what he should do in this situation? You would basically know what to do in the situation. The thing is, I am not a doctor. So I will not tell you Perfect. what the answer is because <laughs> this is one of those situations in which I just don't, I don't feel absolutely secure in saying what the answer is. You've been is. stabbed in the face with a sharp object. You generally leave it in. Call the doctor. Yeah, yeah, go to the or hospital. Like the thing is you have yeah. medicine three, so you would potentially know what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it, would it be possible to do a hand wavy uh, start to bark instructions at him if he won't let me any closer? You, you absolutely would have to tell him not to touch it until somebody who, who like knew what they were doing could go up and do something about it. Perfect. That's what I do. I just try to fuck puka jutsu. God damn it. I mean, that's so good. Thank incredible. you very much. Holy uh, shit. Refined. That's that's like incredible. also the perfect ragabash name. Safe to pull out as a Bonar ragabash name. Fucking excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm drinking to that. Anyway, uh, you know that the answer is don't touch it until I can come forward and I can take it out for you in such a way that it will be safe. Perfect. I just start hurling obscenities at him to scare him into inaction. Uh, he is now... Uh, actually, no, you already intimidated him. He's, like, scooting himself up against the against the bar um, and flinging his hands out. The Perfect. trolls now are standing up being like, I, I don't know, this, this is... <clears throat> you weren't even invited? I was told to come here to cover extra security that was required. Especially now, someone's been stabbed in the face. <laughs> As he really, says, here I am. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry, Jill. We, we're having a lot of trouble understanding you. But it's okay. We'll take it from here. Uh, at this point, we'll figure it out. <laughs> a door on the other side of the room opens up for you, Det. Uh, you're being led into the VIP area um, by a woman who's carrying a briefcase on her on her hand. Uh, she's dressed otherwise like in extreme like business chic, like the smallest, straightest of pencil skirts. Mm. Uh, and she looks in and then she just sees, oh, Gila, are you all right? Do you need help? He does. Oh, um, all right. Uh, then I, I have to declare that all current hands are void. She walks forward and lifts them up. Does not seem to notice this blowgun that is mm. in his, but like he still has his mouth open like, ah, ah. Whoa. Is the one that was with me immortal? Yes. We'll see what we can do about having... I will find a replacement. Rest assured that you are safe here with our dealers. We'll be right back. Of course. Thank you for treating us so well. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Some sort of medical emergency. Now, she takes a look at Nickel. Someone who is probably not belonging. What is Nickel wearing? Definitely underdressed. Um, I'm wearing underdressed? I'm wearing bright purple stirrup leggings. So your 80s yeah, yeah, yeah. style uh, fitness trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my usual right. outfit. Okay. Uh, do you want to even try to make it look like you're fitting in here? Yeah. I'm like, I've grabbed an empty glass and I did this to make it seem like I just finished a drink. I've been here for ages and I put it down on the bar. Okay. So this is going to be a charisma subterfuge. Okay. I will remind you that you have a plus two difficulty because you are a red cap. Yep. Uh, so your difficulty is nine. <laughs> oh, and I'm you're rolling against me. <laughs> really? I'm glad she didn't hear it, but I absolutely undermined Mikkel as well. So like, I'm not, I'm not going to try to help because I feel like I've already helped it up. <laughs> And my dice luck last game was horrific. It was so pretty ridiculous. We'll see. It was uh, no, this is definitely not appearance. Two successes. Oh, fuck. It's not enough. Wait, on a diff nine? Yeah. Wow. Including your willpower spend? Yeah. Wow. Oh, right. Still. Uh, still. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, it was specialty, but. I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I was told that extra security was required at this event. Absolutely not, and certainly not in that outfit. Why are you here? Oh, 
I would love to get changed. I was told that there would be a uniform provided for me when I arrived. I'm the head of security of this establishment. Why haven't I heard of this? It's, you're not doing your job very well, I guess. <laughs> he didn't know who I was either. Ma'am, I think I'd like to return upstairs. Oh. I'm sorry to be disappointing the Duke, but this seems highly irregular. She like a vest pulls out a phone. A <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> if you'll s let me see what I can do about this. Uh, it is a... No. <gasps> I don't feel safe. <gasps> You've escorted me down into some private room in your basement. <laughs> and this is going on? I would like to leave right now. And of you will escort me. <laughs> of course. Of course. Right this way, please. She turns and uh, she still has her phone out, though. Uh, I'm going to need additional like, security at the. Uh, I would like when she's not paying attention. Nice. She stopped paying attention to you. She's now paying attention to this. I, uh, twinkling of an eye, back down the stairs as she heads up, assuming that she's. Oh, like so as so she's as she's, she's escorting up you, to you're escort me back upstairs. Ooh. I twinkling of an eye back into the room, close the door behind her, and close any sort of lock that I see visible. Okay. Yeah. So as she's talking, she's calling extra security to this room. Um, but then you're not there. I'm trying to think if there's a way to secure the door with contract. I don't think there is. Uh, no, doors cannot enter into <sighs> contracts unless you somehow... What if I yell at it really it? hard? <laughs> uh, you, you certainly can attempt... To intimidate a door, but you are not a knocker. Mm. Not with that attitude. Anyone got metamorphosis? Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You fucking open. I will. I will take you down to your bolts. I'll slippers. burn you with yeah. John's new blowtorch. Shit. Don't. It's true. Don't you seen threaten that? me. Yeah, yeah, I've seen tell you about me it. The first thing time. he showed me when I walked in Amazing. was, Yo, check I'm this like, out. I'm like doing paperwork. I was, John? I was just gonna like come on stream and just. <laughs> <laughs> Except there is absolutely nothing in this room. That needs blow torching. That yeah. Not with that as Just our egos. <laughs> yeah. Not with that. Uh, <laughs> oh, totes. Oh, totes. No. Um uh I'm thinking it might be a good idea to like try to hide right now. <laughs> Look a little less conspicuous. <laughs> so is there like an area I could duck into? Shh. Like a coat check. <laughs> you could duck behind the bar. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, I feel like I'm oh just watching this. Like, this is insane. You're not helping at all, Purple. I, I don't know. So you've That's tried okay. to, you've, you've locked the door? Uh, Are you trying to, like, brace the door? No. I just come down the stairs and, like, casually turn the lock behind me if I can spy it. You hear a couple of clicks. Door opens up. Nope. And now, walking forward into here with the widest grin on his face. Everybody's pulling out there. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why just grin on his face? You see a man who is immaculately dressed in what looks to be a tuxedo with about eight too many suspender straps <laughs> built into it. He's holding a cigarette holder, which as he walks in, tiny little gears have ejected a single cigarette out from a clip I mean. and is rolling it along the tip so that it can stick into the end. And then a very, very tiny little uh, two electrodes start zzz, 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 and lights the end of the cigarette. He puts it in his mouth, he pulls, and then he just lets a wreath of smoke encircle his very pale face with swirls dancing across them. What's his appearance? His appearance is five. <gasps> it's the hottest knocker I've ever seen. Oh my Sorry, god. Just... No, it's true. She bought four with her last XP, I think. Nice. Or three? I don't know. She was like, I need to Something like that. <laughs> Please hold. Still, it might be three. 
His shoes are so perfectly shined that if you look into them, you can see how absolutely gorgeous all three of you are, just reflected in the toe. His gold chain that runs from his pocket down into inside, and then you see that it comes out at his waist and wraps around and then slides into another pocket. This chain, while it looks gold, every 10 seconds or so its hue just shifts very slightly from gold to silver to bronze to uh, verdant green. Well, now, we're all pals here, aren't we? I believe so. Um, Mr. Burble. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, I'm the Duke. And he <laughs> reaches forward with his kind of gnarled, clawed hand, but yet somehow it's perfectly manicured, thrusting it forward. I'll kind of beetle up to him and, like, extend my hand as well for a handshake. I look forward to playing with you today. But there's a couple of things we need to take care of first. After all, it seems that uh, I've heard that one of our associates is experiencing some distress. And I notice we have a new invitee and we have a special guest here tonight. I'm a, an enthusiast who also does excellent security work. And I would like to offer my services for this evening. Hmm. As bartender, I notice you are missing one. I can also guard the door. Multi-talented. I like Moxie. I have to say, I do like those who can take their own initiative. Understand that my hiring somebody who forced their way into the room as security is... The smartest thing you've ever done. I beat your security. Who better to defend it? Uh, de- That's what they say about hackers. Hacker yeah. <laughs> 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 She is well, let me then ask you one more question. Uh, Shoot. Your name? Mickle. Mickle. If you were in my position as a security expert, would you believe you? I think I would realize that was my best option right now if I wanted my game to go forward. Ah. Mr. Burble, I'm being threatened in my own casino. I... I I, I think that's, that's a threat. That's the audacity of if I threatening someone, they know. Nicole, I don't oh, think this is the right time. You know what? <sighs> Why don't we settle this easily with a game of chance? Why don't you step forward right here and let's have a look to see whether Lady Luck decides if you're to guard me or against me. Ooh. Sounds good kind of game of chance well if I take a look at you I'm going to say that I don't think you're much of a poker player but we'll see if the roulette table has anything to offer you yes <laughs> what should I choose to win I think 70, 70. fuck yeah. Mr. Burble yes <laughs> thanks dead uh, no, Det is standing aghast at this, lingering near the door. <laughs> I believe this is yours. Careful, it's oh, quite, it sorry. Is quite heavy. It's clay. Oh, oh God! I missed a sticker. <gasps> yeah, well, yes. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, of course. It's got some good F to it. Um, at a glance how much uh you have about 10,000 worth of chips there Ooh-wee. thank you I look forward to using these 
in a game of wits. Mm. Now. For you. I caught it with my left hand. That never happens. For that alone, I should be allowed to stay. Lucky day. <laughs> Has you. I'm going to give you the chance to buy your way into this room. That one chip, that represents a hundred dollars. It's worth more than my car. Now, obviously, this is a gift and not a loan. Because I don't loan things out unless things have been organized in advance. Isn't that right, Mr. Burble? As near as I can tell, that is correct. So, with that hundred, if you manage to turn that hundred dollars into, let's say, five hundred dollars, you can buy your way into this room for five hundred dollars. Or, alternately, you could decide to keep the hundred dollar chip, leave the room, Go upstairs, cash it in, maybe even get a drink. You know, at the part of the casino where someone of your attire might be a bit more appropriate. Uh, that is fucking uncalled for. So's breaking into my establishment and assaulting one of my associates. He shot a blow dart at me, bro. Ah, were you invited? No, but I have not. I I find my offer exceptionally generous. After all, you do have the opportunity of making your way in. I will trade you this for five hundred dollars. <laughs> I I can't. Mr. Burble, do is that. she an associate of yours? I ask the same thing to the goldfish puka. How about you? I go to each of the trolls in turn. The trolls just, like, pull their chips closer <laughs> to them. Mm -hmm. I've certainly met Mikkel before. We run in some of the same circles. I don't know if I'd define anyone in here as an associate, per se. Mm -hmm. Especially not when it comes to our work tonight. If you don't mind me calling it work, that is. <gasps> sure, thank you. Debt. Well. <laughs> we'll wait for you to put your ears back on. Mikkel, your choice is yours, of course. If you don't like my company, you can leave. What if I do like your company? Then I've given pay you, you five hundred bucks. I gave you one hundred. You have the choice of trying to make that into five hundred. No, I'll take the hundred. Bye. Uh, and I, I go to follow to the inside door, I mm. think. The one that's uh, locked. You can go around. Enter the front door where guests normally uh, I flip him off and go out the other door. Well, it's it's there. Yeah. I, I will warn you, just before you head on through, that leads to security. They will not understand why you're there, and they may not be as kind Okay, I take a bottle of alcohol from the bar as I pass and go out the other door, taking my hundred. Charming. <laughs> Is this typical? No, I, I confess I'm rather embarrassed. Your little bow, your beautiful little bow. It's actually a wire catcher. Yeah. I mean, these things certainly happen. I was, I mean, if you don't mind me saying, I was frankly impressed to see someone batter their way past uh, what I assume is a guest list and a guard. She has tenacity. You have to give her that. I've never met her before. I don't know why she's here. I find that suspicious. I have to assume, and I'm sorry, 
I have to assume that because we run in some of the same circles, she heard that I had been invited here and perhaps got a bit jealous. You might notice Mikkel didn't quite understand the option given to her. She thought maybe she'd had to pay you, which is not the case. But bygones and all that. We're joined today by a local celebrity. Uh, I can't say that I've been much of a fan of the geese before, but now that I see you here in my establishment, I have more of a reason to follow along. Sports are never my thing. Mm. I prefer games. Are you alright? The problem is dealt with. The red cap is no longer here. You are perfectly safe. Yet she got in. Yet you dealt with the problem so flippantly. I was told by... She would have remembered this because this would have been the same day. Yeah. Ms. Cantley, that this was the place to find a game of chance. Mm -hmm. Well, of course you're correct. The giant mirror behind the bar <gasps> suddenly becomes much more transparent. Oh. It's one way glass. And on the inside, you see that there are four other Cathane who are watching from the inside, one of which is holding what looks to be an extremely high-powered knocker lightning gun, which has been aimed no longer inside, but you can see that she's now got it settling mm -hmm. here. All four of them are knockers, by the way. What is the meaning of this? Security. Oh. For yourself? For everyone in the room. Mm -hmm. My goodness. To what do I put that trust? Trust is the name of the game. Chance is the name of the game. But not my game. You invited me down to find out if my luck had changed. If what you meant was that I was going to get obliterated by your goons behind glass. It'll be an odd story to have me disappear in your casino. Or whoever actually owns this place. You misunderstand me. I have no wish to see you disappear. Why would I? I'm here to see whether you want to play. And of course, you're under no obligation. Mr. Burble, on the other hand, is here for... We have come to a conclusion with your business. It's time for us to see whether or not your business has become our business. Uh, our business, you and your associates? My associates, as they were, are interested in only one thing providing the premier gaming establishment for Cathane here in the glorious city of Gatineau. Which, as people will remember, Gatineau is right next to Ottawa. Mm. Just across the river. <laughs> it's actually just across pro provincial lines, mm -hmm. even. It's funky. A weird shape, though. Yeah, they do. Mickley, you're getting the distinct impression that you are being followed. Okay. <laughs> Cool. I, uh, <laughs> when I'm out the door, mm -hmm. I just like slam it shut Mute me. really hard behind me. Yeah. And then, so if it opens again, I'm like just on the other side of it, basically. So you're just staying there? Yeah, like I'm outside. Yeah, you're I'm... outside the VIP room. You're now in the garage again. Yeah. But you're just staying close to the door. You're yeah. Not... Okay. So, sorry, you're not being followed. You do get the distinct impression that you're being watched. Cool. That's by who? By whom? It's unclear. <sighs> Miss Debt, there is security in every casino, and there are security behind closed doors and one way glass in every casino. And I assure you that a casino does not operate if the guests feel like they are under attack at all times. It is their restraint which meant that our guest who had arrived was dealt with in a peaceful manner as opposed to a violent one, thus attempting to keep you safe. 
I've been seen here. I will trust that to my safety. Instead, you are here because you have pro shown exceptional skill in blackjack. Tell me, are there other games that you play? I've dabbled. I would except call myself an expert. Except Any. in hockey, of course. You yourself said that you don't consider sports games. They're not my favorite. I confess that the recent ban on sporting events has troubled me, but not for personal reasons. Oh? No. I rarely attend sporting events, and when I do, it's usually because I have a bet on the outcome. Then why are you troubled if it doesn't affect you? Because the health of the community affects me, as it affects everyone, doesn't it? Does one need to be fit to sit down at a poker table? Or a blackjack table, or a roulette table, or whatever game you happen to be offering us this evening? Mentally fit, yes. I would never dare to take advantage of somebody who didn't understand the rules of the game they were playing. Mr. Burble, you do understand the rules of poker? Very well. Thank you. And the rules of heads up, no limit, Texas Hold'em. Out of character, y yes, I actually, I'm gonna use a pause card. I wanna let everybody at the table know that Burble is decently, you know, quite well versed in poker. I probably don't know all the terms. <laughs> I will be asking. Thanks everyone. Okay, so I, fair enough. Yeah. If there's, if I ever say anything oh, yeah. and you're just like, I don't know what let me know. Scott uh, doesn't know. Burble I know does. enough to get me into trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at too, actually, yeah. I think, yeah. Flub your way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for you out there in the audience, if I say anything about poker and you're like, that's a lie, let me know. But I might not care. <laughs> Fuck you, my game, my rules. It, it might, I, okay, put it this way. I do care, but I may not do anything about it. Mm. Also, fuck you, my game. <laughs> there it is. Uh, perhaps, just to show that there's nothing you need to worry about, we can sit down and just do one friendly spin. Hmm? Of course. He walks over to the roulette table. He plunks a. Uh, he he looks at the dealer or the dealer at the roulette table and says, "It's all right, just um, one." And he pulls out one chip, which you do not have access to in your rack. It looks like it's worth more. Mm. Uh, this particular one says one thousand on it. Don't take that into consideration. It just doesn't have a denomination on it. It's just a chip. Sure. He puts it down directly on number 14. Faites vos jeux. Uh, Which is legitimately what they say in casinos. It's well. true. Make your game. <laughs> Make your bets. Yeah, but yeah like but, if yeah. I'm literal translating. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll come over as well. I look at what he's done. Uh, that's quite a confident bet you've placed, Duke. It's easy when I'm betting with the house's money. <laughs> I suppose it is. It will feel very good if you win. Of course. Of course it will. Mickle. Mm -hmm. So you're you're standing just outside the door. Are you making any effort to hide or move around or whatnot? I don't think so. I think I'm just like leaning against the wall next to the door so that in case anybody comes after me to kill me, I can attack them by surprise. Not looking shifty at all. <laughs> Okay. You hear the scraping of someone shuffling along pavement. It sounds sharp. Uh, oddly sharp, actually. Can I tell what direction it's coming from? It's coming from the direction behind you in the cars. It, it doesn't sound like someone's particularly trying to be stealthy, but the, you can't currently see who it is. Of course, there are a lot of cars here, and they are rather large. I will try to maybe duck behind a car. You see a very small, 
strip of white fabric being lifted over the top of oh what, what can this be <sighs> oh. okay um over a uh, dodge viper Ooh, nice pull cobalt blue with white racing stripes you see which is a relatively low set car but you see an arm dangling some white cloth that looks like it's recently been torn and shaking back and forth uh does this look like a changeling hand that's an interesting question it's hard to tell but uh the voile along the arm would lead you to believe yes okay what Back to you two. Uh, having observed the bet placed on the table, I'm going to take like a, a much more reasonable lower denomination. Like one of your chips. Yeah, like one chip. Uh, and I'm going to put it on, in addition to red and black, you can also bet on thirds yep. at roulette. So I'm going to place it in the middle third. Uh, no, you bet on 14, right? On yeah, 14. the middle the middle third, which would cover it, I believe. Yes, because it's 12. Mm-hmm. 1 to 12, 13 to 24, 25 to 36. Um, and then I kind of look back, you know. This is a... I'm just watching. You're just watching? Yeah. Very well. Uh, they, uh, no more bets. Placed across, and the ball bounces, 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 and then lands on number 15. <gasps> 15. Black? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's standardized across your lead tables. I don't actually have a picture of one up, but it does mean that you win and they pass you along two more of those chips mm -hmm. along with the one that you left down there. Hmm. Must be my lucky day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We're a legitimate casino. We're actually regulated still by the province of Quebec. Everything here is 100% legal across the board. Hmm. Are you checking a roulette table? Yeah, it's 15 black. Yes! Nice. I was just trying to figure out I had a 50% yes. chance. Yes, yeah. it works though. Pop, pop, pop. I kind of turn around and look at that. You you didn't think this was some sort of, I don't know, attempt to cheat us? Did you? No, not cheat. Just bring me into a basement. And... <laughs> oh! When you put it like that. One moment, please. Oh. And he touches his ear, and you can see if you're careful. Mm -hmm. He has just a, a, like a, a definitely a flesh-colored earpiece that's been tucked just inside. You can call off the security alert. It's been handled. If you see her on the floor, give her anything that she wants in terms of drink. Make sure that she doesn't threaten any of the other guests, and otherwise treat her like a VIP. But she's not welcome back down here. Thank you. If Mr. Perry requires a hotel room, then we can arrange one. Do I look like I give a damn? <laughs> Pardon my language. It's an affliction of my kith. <laughs> uh, Debt can't help, but react to that. Yeah, I definitely uh, kind of smirk a bit as well. head over towards the bar and order a drink. From whom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From Mick. Head over to uh -huh. the bar and realize there's no one behind the bar. We're going to send additional people in in a moment. Uh, actually, and he flicks his fingers again, and then from the inner door one of the knockers who you previously saw behind the glass walks in. Uh, she's dressed in a very, very high cut, shimmering black gown. Um, we're talking a cut that goes like all the way up to her navel Whoa. here. Um, and as she steps forward, it's very clear that she's just gone to town with swirls going, stretching all the way down her leg. And as she walks forward, she tosses her white hair so that it lands in glorious curls all along her back. She flashes a smile to debt. The fuck can I get you? Yeah. 
What's that, verbal? Sort <laughs> of. <laughs> yep. I mean, Crown Royal is Canadian. I'm sure there's a nicer Canadian whiskey. Oh, God, you should look at me, and I feel like I should know that. You look like you need the darkest of stormies. Sure. <laughs> Great. She goes about to make your drink. Appearance? Her appearance is four. Yeah. This is the second hottest knocker I've ever seen. Yep, because Patches got up to app three at the end of the campaign. Oh, she She's is. only three. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna kind of, you know, lean some, I'm gonna try to maintain some decorum, but like lean like relatively casually on the, uh, at the roulette table and just kind of look towards the Duke here. Uh, you certainly like your air of mystery. It's not every day you meet someone quite like you. I'm a peddler of dreams, Mr. Burble. For instance, now you have your dreams back. Check your account balance and you'll see that you'll have all the money that you require in order to settle your situation. It's done. You're free. It's very kind of you. All I ask is the opportunity to test my skill against yours. I hope you will find it to be a test and not simply a <laughs> diversion. <laughs> Now, Lassie, if you're gonna take care of one of my agents, you'd better be sure that I'll be doing something about it. But at the same time, I've lifted this flag of truce so that I can get some information from you. Do you intend to abide by the parley? Or are we gonna have problems? If we have a problem, I'd like to see how well you can wave that flag when it's shoved up your ass. Interesting. Let's talk. And I hop onto the uh, onto the car, the car's hood, and like cross my legs and arms. <laughs> oh. So you see a, a yeah. somewhat <laughs> I leave a sizable dent in the hood. <laughs> oh, 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 no, somewhat elderly satyr <laughs> looks up. Is that ball. so? He is. Incredible. He is dressed in like a snazzy kilt. <laughs> What a dude! Snazzy. What a dude! Like, is, it, is it like sparkly? No, it's just it's just nice. tightly tailored and nice, and it hangs very nicely around his <gasps> I knees. I thought it would be like be bejeweled. <laughs> what do you take me for? <laughs> I don't know. Look, Michael's brain is stuck in the eighties. Everything yes. has to be bedazzled. Exactly. Sequins. Nah. I'm looking for a friend of mine. Don't know where she is. Do you have any idea? Oh, she was garroted and sent that way. Ah, so you did it. Fuck no. So why are you here? Well, I was in oh, there, saw it, I think. got past okay. the guest list. He winks back, but there's like this, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, now, uh, and, and that, but that, that's as far as I got. Now I'm out here again. Oh, right. With a hundred bucks and a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> Man, you were in a, you grabbed something from a bar and you grabbed the Jack <laughs> Daniels. No, I wasn't it's, looking. It's, Fuck. Yeah, no, that's Grey Goose. It's Grey Goose. Nice. Well, well, it's easy to grab, Grey that's for sure. This would be... For some reason, Grey Goose is considered top shelf. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sequin Disco Kilt is... Uh, my uh, oh god, my, the pretenders cover. It's like back? a nice. disco stick, but a sequin disco kilt. It's um, yeah. I cannot go in there. So, you've accomplished something I haven't been able to do. At the same time, now I'm down one agent. And it looks like she met something of a unfortunate end. Gruesome. So what are you going to do about it? Why do I have to do anything about it at all? Because you're still here? Which means you have a vested interest in remaining here. Maybe I just like free booze. 
Maybe you understand that I could make your life difficult if you make mine. Are you threatening me? I, I am threatening you. And let me tell you that if I'm threatening you, it means something. So, are we going to work together on this? Or is it going to be perhaps a very abbreviated scuffle over what is a car that really can't handle the kind of roads you'll find out here in Gatineau? <laughs> Why you have an agent out here? And I uh, pass him the bottle of Grey Goose. Incredible. Takes it. Why are you traveling with debt? <gasps> what do you know about debt? I know she's got a wicked slap shot, and every once in a while she knows how to rally a team. Tell me why you're traveling with debt. Because they fucked with sport. So we're fucking with them. Ah. Uh, Thank you. So you've got it in for a. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> I should make sure I can subscribe. <laughs> if I subscribe to the channel, I might be able to start another hype train. <laughs> Lord McAllister, I didn't know you were on Twitch. <laughs> Look. Lord Mac has subscribed Just, for no, 24 keep, months. Yeah. Have some fun. The satyrs built. I want to take a pic of this. Disco kilt. Disco kilt. <laughs> oh, Mac. Do you like a disco kilt? It's really weird playing someone who doesn't respect him. Uh, for, for now. You barely Wait, respected you him respect before. Him? Yes, because he barely <laughs> respected him before. Respects. Well, she was at least polite to him. Well, yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's every. Sophie's polite to everyone except for when she's burning down their faces. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Yay! Here we are. Saint. Huh, just oh, just patient, excellent. patient until Guilt. she's not patient anymore. Uh, Cult. <laughs> patience of a saint. Cult. Okay. Which Sorry means that, that you're in it for sport. I'm not in it for the sport. I'm in it for the other side. So. Wait. You're against sport? Me? Oh, sorry. Why would I be against sport? It's just it's not why I'm here. Why the fuck are you here? Great. I grabbed the Grey Goose pack. He didn't actually take a drink from it, by the way. He took it, but he did not take a drink from it. Hand it back after I've had another sip of it. I'm here because they fucked over someone from the Unbroken Circle. And that we cannot abide. Oh. Who are the Unbroken Broken Circle? That's pretty cool. Ah. And now he does take a slight drink. Now you and I were together on this. How about you and I make an agreement? We work together on this just for today. As long as we make sure that neither of us are actually enemies. Let's put that in terms both of us can understand. <laughs> As a contract. Agreed. <laughs> so we're going to go back to the two of you. Now, Mr. Burble, sit down at this table for me here. Yeah, of course. The trolls have collected their chips and are now hanging around by the bar, being served by this knocker who has slid over a quite a lovely, dark and stormy, onto, uh, onto debt. Well, not onto debt. To debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Body shot. Yeah. Um, I'll, you know, I'll take a seat at the table and kind of like try out the seat, try out the space. I, uh, you'll excuse me, a uh, silly superstitious old player myself. I have a few uh, um, rituals when I sit down at the table. Of course, take your time. Start like stacking chips in a particular order. The dealer starts riffling uh, a deck uh, and then spreads it out over the table and starts gathering it up. The trolls all now have to f order the same drink that you have. And the knocker behind the bar is all too kind to provide them. But then she leans on the bar and looks at you. Do you care for some nuts? I'm good, thanks. No, no. I'll take some nuts. <laughs> of course you will, sir. <laughs> she out of the bar. She <laughs> puts some peanuts <laughs> on there. Yeah, of course. Do I know you from somewhere? You're somewhat familiar. I am a hockey player. I 
Did I have a news segment? I don't remember anymore. Yeah, you, you were interviewed after we fucked up that guy. <laughs> At Carlton U, yeah. Um, they've interviewed me a few times lately because of the whole sports ban. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I swear I know you from somewhere. I know. You know, they call me Clank, but not because I make noise under the hood. Okay. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> she. You work at Yams, don't you? Yeah. I've never been inside, but every once in a while I, I like to sit around by the canal. I know you're close by. Uh, place to pay the bills since women's hockey is woefully undercompensated well being a bartender isn't all that better <laughs> the tips aren't bad depending on who you're with the VIP rooms you sometimes get a lot of high rollers and they can be the stingiest motherfuckers you could find this side of my ass. Um, you've clearly been keeping your eye close to Yen's if you've noticed me there. Hmm. Certain you would have noticed a uh, certain lady. She's much more attractive. Much more. Sorry, like a pulling of the eye is what I meant to say. Captivating? Yeah, yeah. Entrancing? Are you talking noticeable. about Lady Genwi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, would have been the word I would have used. I was smart. <sighs> mm -hmm. She's a little bit of a spitfire, isn't she? Tell me, what's she like? Nice. Your cards are now being dealt. So. Oh, shit already. Okay. Here's how we're going to go down. I'm ready. Uh, what are you going to try to do? Are you going to try to outplay him? Are you going to try to manipulate him into making a mistake? Are you going to play the odds? He's brought an equal number of chips to the table to you. That's very kind. I mean, that is how that would work, right? But Burble's, um my answer will take the form of a short five paragraph essay. My apologies, here it comes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Burble's initial impulse is to play the odds, right? He's not a card counter, but he does have a pretty good memory for, you know, what's come up and, and so on and so well, forth. That's useful in blackjack, but not in poker where the hand is shuffled. Where it's shuffled in. But, well, I mean, like, you know, in terms of... He knows the odds game. of, yeah. like, I see the cards on the table, I exactly. can guess what can, the likely... Okay, this is not good. So that would be his go-to. However, the Duke is here to play against him, not just to play. That's right. So he's going to give him a bit of a show as well, yeah. What I'd like to suggest is the relatively classic ploy. Burble is going to show his hand, not literally, but figuratively, a few times so that he can trick the Duke into thinking he understands how he plays. And then Uno Reverso, which is a different card game, uh, mm -hmm. and pull out a win later. So this is how this is going to go down. Ready. You're going to roll me your manipulation subterfuge first. Okay. Which you just bought up. <laughs> I did. And then that's going to determine the difficulty of your wits poker. Okay, cool. I can do that. Fire away. First, your difficulty is going to be six, but it's an opposed roll. Okay. I'm not going to spend a point of willpower on this. Okay. I may on the next one. No. Let's do it. That seems like a wise choice. Manipulation, subterfuge. Okay. I've got mine. Thanks, Inifile. Uh, Three successes. Oh. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, roll me your wits poker. Your difficulty is going to be five. That's pretty delish. Uh, I am going to spend a point of willpower, which is that one. Thank you. <laughs> Two successes. Okay. Interesting. 
tell me, what, what is she like? Genway, really? I've heard of some things. What have you heard? That she's a lot more than she lets on. That she's way more into the whole being a she business than one would expect from somebody who surrendered their freehold almost entirely over to a bargain. <laughs> I mean, she's certainly still a she. She doesn't strike me as any other kith in disguise. She's young, she's kind. Kind? You don't hear that about the she very often. Perhaps kind for a she. Kinder than one would perhaps expect from a lady. Yeah. Um, debt. Can you roll me your wits and... Wits leadership. I have that. Because you kept asking me to roll it, so I bought it up. Whoop. Bing. Good thing to do. <laughs> uh, I assume you have six? Yep. Two successes. Her left hand is quivering. And she's tapping a little bit on the table. She's nervous. And she's looking to you for help? You know, we don't bite. Even up in the shop, even though it's all skater shoes and helmets this time of year. Well, you walk around with a red cap. I imagine you bite a little bit. No? What do you want? I just want to make sure that you have all the drinks that you could want, but she's tracing something in the on the bar. You know how there's condensation that yeah, comes yeah, off yeah. glasses and stuff? So she's drawn a line and then an arrow from that line that points behind her at the bar glass, and then she puts an X in front of that line. As in not here, they're watching us. How long have you been watching me? Oh. Like I said, I just, uh, I spend a lot of time around the canal, maybe over the past three weeks. The game, by the way, is going on while you were talking. <laughs> yeah, and she's just fucking spilled the beans about who I associate with, so I'm not interested in helping this bitch. Uh, so, uh, Damn. what are you, what are you That's trying, fair. what are you trying to pull on me? <gasps> Let me see if I can get anyone else any other drinks. And I'm done. Peace, you can enjoy your fucked up game and I leave out the door that I came in the, like the or out out the ground yeah out the door I came up in up the stairs towards the yeah. security yeah I don't want to trip over a goat man and a, <laughs> and a red cat hello <laughs> whoa Bump. okay so you have headed out mm -hmm. off to the back um I like definitely well, noticed you're this you're winning yeah. uh, sorry I just want to say like I hate that society has put female shitty words into my brain and mouth um, I don't mm -hmm. like the use of bitch when it refers mm -hmm. to women, and I don't like that I use that. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that's cool. To do that in the future. Thanks for the heads up. Thanks, kid. Crap, I have two different green cards. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no! Too much safety! Oh. <laughs> oh, how can I hold all these yeah. tools? <laughs> I have... I have this safety card, but then I also have this one, and the Oh, you've got the dark one. I have oh, the dark one. I left the dark one in case you were green screen. <laughs> it's true. I know it's, that dark it's dark cards. enough. I don't know if it would be, but Who knows? dark cards. Incredible. Ah. Uh, you're winning, Verbal. A lot. In fact, it seems like you are just outplaying this guy. Not lucky str string of cards, but like you, you've isolated a tell mm. right away. It seems that whenever he's confident in a hand, he's 
playing with a chip in his hand, but then when he's not confident, he pushes two chips instead of one. Okay. Oh, I should probably do that. On, I forget. I have a more, much more narrow. So one, he's holding chips in his hand. He'll flick. Fuck you. <laughs> that, He'll flick that. one chip over, but when he's not confident in his hand, he flicks two. Okay. And it's very quick before you have cleaned him out of his entire stack. Now I have a quick question before we resolve the end of this match here, but my question is were there were there many hands where he didn't sort of, like, did he fold for many? Like, do you know what I mean? Did he not reveal that he wasn't winning to me? No, a few hands okay. he, he went through with okay. trying to buy you out. Right, right, right. Okay. Pot, but okay, cool. Now look. According to the contract that you've got settled out down here in, in paragraph A, subsection B, if you turn on me and decide to betray me, I'll... It's null and void and the same thing in return. It's This is more about a enemy of my enemy is yeah, my Yeah, but friend. you need to revise the additional clauses that we added on at right, the end. Excellent. So then we're going down into this one. And then paragraph C says that if you actually make sure that I survive this encounter. Yeah, but your wording is absolute bogus here. Like we need to change it to this. And this right. I, I agree to your demands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. Magnified. Fuck. <laughs> Woo. I sign. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, so you can cast contract. I, ca I cast contract on whatever the fuck we just decided. On, uh, to do. I believe he has Title Three and just putting he, it out there. Is what he has intense. agreed to essentially is that the two of you will work together, nice, just for tonight, unless it turns out that one of you has uh, been actually working for the other side. Great! That sounds fun for me. Debt, as you head up mm -hmm. towards the stairs, you're met by the head of security again. Same woman, yeah. Not your table. I'm incredibly apologetic here. Um, I've arranged for you to have access to whatever you would like at our buffet. We can... You can't buy my sounds. Pardon me? You cannot buy my silence with a buffet. I, we, obviously, if you wish to leave us a review on Google and it's not what you would. <laughs> <laughs> Are you aware of what goes on down there? Yes, it's a private room for a private game. Are you aware of what goes on down there? people behind the glass what weapons they have on their persons what tricks are being played on the theoretical VIPs from your duke who considers himself some sort of big shot no tricks absolutely no tricks funny perhaps you need to spend extra time down there you're aware Sorry, what's your last name again Douglas. Douglas. Oh, yeah, sorry. <sighs> sorry, that was me asking. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Ms. Douglas, I assure you that there is nothing but the most stringent of security features down How there. How the hell did that woman get in there? What woman? The person who hurt that man that you brought upstairs. I don't know what you're talking about. The, like, I described the, the satyr bartender that she, like, helped. If there was someone like that on our staff, I assure you, I'd tell you. What, did you fire him because he got hurt? Ms. Douglas, I don't know who you're talking about. Roll the footage. Who was the person that you walked downstairs and said, oh gosh, what's wrong with you? Let's get you out of here. I came down here to make sure that the game was being played as... There's no game going... I mean, a game has just started, but I have not had a chance to play a single hand. All I've had is a series of bizarre events. I am leaving, and I will not be silent about this because you bought me a buffet. <laughs> it's a very nice buffet. <laughs> but she's 
clearly she has absolutely no idea of what you're talking about. So she's already forgotten bringing the satyr out of the room. Apparently. Okay, I just want to make sure that I don't have my facts wrong. No, 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 you have all your Great. facts correct. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, are there cameras for there? Yes, the entire casino Great. is. Um, tell me where to sit and I will wait while you review the footage of, you know, what, X time ago. Um, right here. And I will wait. She tugs her jacket down a little bit, just confused, and she heads off into the back. Um, so I'm, I'm collecting chips and I think, uh, Burble's kind of, he's got like, um, he had sort of a spiral pattern. Mm -hmm. He'd laid them out in kind of a spiral when he had sat down. It was like, his, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I like I to know. think it's a prettier sort of look, you know? Um, but he's obviously now collecting more and adding them. Uh, and he looks up, well played. It would appear that our debt is clear. Thank you, Mr. Burble. Was it everything you hoped for? I'm not often beaten in my own casino. I appreciate the chance to match up against a true master. Someone asked... Do you care to continue to play? No, I I believe my uh, all, all luck changes like the tides, and I want to ride the high while I still can. I understand. Wait, so are we going in? Uh... In answer, I yeet the rest of the bottle of Grey Goose onto the ground as my bunk to cast my contract. Okay. I like to think between Mac and I, we've taken care of... Smashing glass in a casino is probably a bad idea. Whee! Especially under a really nice car, which is then going to be like, oh, my hood. It a level two bunk? Is that what you're implying, John? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Sweet. Oh, yeah. So that I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's still yeah. more than just a simple matter of I dropped a glass. Yeah. Whoops. That means it's diff six, I believe. I don't uh, think there's any other modifiers to it. I don't remember what your is it nature that's yeah. Your, that's and I up. have no nature. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow, that's four successes. Well, then there you we go. Contract. Contracted. Contracted. <laughs> Insert law and order sound here. So I have Liar's Bell. I'll know if he's working against me. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, I say that out loud. You can either help me get into that door, or you can help me find my agent. One of the two. I'm pretty sure your agent's been, you know. Yes. So it's not going to be the agent that you... I've interacted with dead people before, Lassie. It's going to be all right. Are you a necromancer? No, I'm a changeling who every once in a while gets busy. With you dead people? Dead people. <laughs> Sorry, John. Sorry, you walked right into that. Excuse me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Thank you for letting me fidget with these. I appreciate Bye, you. Bye, McAllister. McCall Wait. I mean, Wait, Mr. you have a contract. Mr. Scottish Wait, Seder, Mr. whose Scott name we haven't Did heard you yet. tell me your name? What's your name? <laughs> he had to sign the contract. He probably had to sign yeah. something. Hey, uh, Mac. McKay. Uh, no, I wouldn't have called myself Mac. I would have called myself um, Nick. <laughs> and no. that's what he signed on the contract? He didn't. He, he swore the contract verbally, and he made a mark. Fair. He did not write a name. <laughs> so it's Mick and Mickle <laughs> out <laughs> for the day. Well, fine. <laughs> My name's Nick. Buddy cop. We didn't know we needed. Nick. Great. Let's find your friend. Right. Okay. Lead on. But, but, uh, and I start walking in the direction I saw her being dragged slash the corpse was carried no wait wasn't she brought back and put in the trunk shit i can't remember I now i seem to recall that she was put I in the trunk check. but then she you overheard what they were going to do with the body i did oh i don't remember what it was said. okay because i remember i overhear them talking about tala and all i have here is a quote that the satyr said we're not murderers yeah the red what? cat wanted to like just go and dump her body somewhere like 
yeah, like, like leave kill the her for sure. No, my understanding right, was well. they were like leave the mortal to like wake up and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I think the red cat was like, oh, let's like. The red cat wanted to like, end it really forever. kill her. Yeah. yeah and the the other guy was like, no. <laughs> no, we're not murderers. So. Yeah. Because that car is now gone, right? They drove yeah, off. Yeah, the car's gone. All right. She. <clears throat> she. Uh, so she's probably not. Fly- Let's. Uh, we'll just start walking. Start a going, walk and talk. Going in the direction of where the car left, looking for convenient places one might have yeeted an unconscious mortal. Hey. As one does. Um. So uh, what? Do, what do you do? What well, is in for a living? Yeah, you said someone fucked with a member of your crew. Hey, I've got a crew. What do you do? What's the Unbroken Circle? Unbroken Circle is a group of people who are really... <sighs> Easiest way for me to tell you is that they're on Tain Hunters. Explain it to me like I'm... Would I know what a Tain is? How much, how much grammar do you have? Actually... One. <laughs> what were your intelligence grammar? Bear? I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Difficulty is seven. One success. Hey. Uh, you get a vague recollection that Duntain are bad changelings. They're bad changelings, right? Nice. Right? Nailed it. Like bad, not just like, I don't agree with their politics, but like like They're changelings that are I heard at least six evil. A's in that word. Not, not okay. They're bad. Hey, there are bad changelings. Now, I'm not a member of the Unbroken Circle myself, but at the same time, it's professional courtesy for me to watch out for them every once in a while. So, who was this um, member of your crew that was that was fucked with? Tala? No, uh, the Unbroken Circle. Oh, person. oh, oh. Uh, currently being held in a freehold by the canal. Is that so? As in, can, like, the canal of water, not some place called the canal. Yens could be considered as close to a canal, yeah. But yeah, okay, cool, canal. That thing. Of course, technically, I guess, so could the other two. No, 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 I just, something about the pronunciation made me think of, like, the cabal or something, like, a group of people. (laughs) My pronunciation is is murky at best, (laughs) because I didn't think I was going to have to bust them out today. Sorry about that. Woo! I just wanted to clarify some facts. My bad. <laughs> I tried really hard to not get kicked out, and yet, and yet it happened. Um, anyway. Wow. What did he? What did he do to get himself in that situation? Oh boy. I don't know. I know he's being held, and I know that he's being held, uh, sort of with his will. That's not the problem. His problem is with the people in there. They were messing with him, huh? Well, you see, there is a specific issue. He lost his game. Lost really badly. And if your friend in there is playing poker, that's going to be difficult for him. The Duke is an exceptional poker player. I don't see that there's any chance of him winning. Well, here you go. (laughs) Yay! Our debt is officially clear. Well, thank you for the games. I, I don't uh, often get this much competition where I'm where I'm at. <laughs> I don't imagine. Well, if you have no other games to play, you're certainly welcome to stay here as my guest. Although, you are always free to enjoy the rest of the casino. Let me just do that. It seems like a lovely place, and perhaps a few more games over there as well. I like motion to the roulette. <laughs> Like I said, I want to make sure I'm uh, riding the wave, as it were. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Of course. This business, this, this, no, not a business. This dream that you have. Mm. People need help. You help them. In exchange, you ask for this, a game, a chance to ch- test your metal. Is that is that all? Entertaining? Entertainment? Isn't life just entertainment, Mr. Burble? When you become as rich as I am and as successful as I am, you start to find new ways to enjoy yourself. 
That either means I have to come up with a lot of fetishes that I don't particularly want to explore, or I live a little. I solve problems, Mr. Burble. I make them go away, and then, if you are lucky enough, you get to leave debt-free. I do feel very lucky tonight, certainly. Yes, I imagine you do. You don't like sport, you said. No, Mr. Burble, I do not. Why not? I find it a brutish affair. Sport is merely an analog for war that we decided to rely upon so that we didn't beat each other in the head with clubs. I don't disagree with your view of history. I certainly think that was the starting point. I'd like to view athletic competition now, especially among youth in this city, as a way of developing a sense of self amongst others. Developing a self of oneself through violence is developing a self one does not deserve to have in society. How did you learn who you were? As a person? In your soul? Genius inspiration. Me too. And I give him a wink. I'm trying to be charming. It's he probably winked, going he, okay. He winks back. <laughs> it's a very nice wink. It's very attractive. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what was Dead. the sound I made before? Oh, yeah. She comes back out and it looks like she's seen a ghost. It was a man. I, I brought a man up from that room. What's you going on? Remember. No. Something strange is happening downstairs. We have to see what we can do to stop it. I advise you to take your time. I understand that as head of security, I'm certain your urge is to act quickly and for the safety of all patrons. I think the only patrons at risk are those who head downstairs. I urge you to ensure your own security first, above all. But something strange is happening down there. Whether that means you go home tonight and find another job tomorrow, or whether that means for the next weeks, days, months, you find what's going on, that is your choice. What can I do to assure your safety right now? Just remind me, what did I do? You brought a man upstairs. He looked unwell. He was a bartender down there. And then you stopped. You didn't remember. All right. Um, here. Uh, let's go downstairs. Uh, I'll call security to get them to come in. And she pulls out her phone and then she bobbles it in her hand. And it falls. I'd like to try to catch it with my intense athletics. Very well. Intense. I want you to roll your wits athletics at a difficulty of nine corrupted phone i want to let a botch happen if it's gonna because i have such a good pool Whoa. uh no uh diff nine i get a success uh you prevent the phone from breaking yeah <laughs> okay you manage to do that thing where you stick your like hand out yeah, and, bubbles, sort of and then you stick your off, foot out and break it, out like... some of the fall oh, yeah jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you she seems kind of flustered and picks up the phone again and she starts to dial I don't have any service you're gonna leave with me something bigger than you or I is going on this might be we are the capital there might what be about the guests in the, in the casino I have to make sure that they're there safe are too other security guards I'm certain they I'm the head of security they understand their jobs I'm sure you've trained them extremely well Roll me your charisma leadership. All right. Just as I put my dice away. Uh, well, maybe you charisma. shouldn't put your dice I know. away. That's fair. Uh, leadership. No, it wasn't a complaint at all. Uh, uh, diff six? Yep. Or okay. That's three successes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. Uh, and I'm going to escort her towards the front door of the building, basically. Yep. 
So you go through the whiz bang lights and sounds of casino, <laughs> slot well, machines and electronica casino. music, and uh, you see the montage of like glamorous people having lots of fun. That one guy who's losing his shirt and he like pulls his cheeks down. Well, they don't include that in the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Not the yeah. Tears his shirt uh, off. Uh, and I want I'm ruined. To <laughs> please play responsibly. <laughs> hail a cab, which I assume there'd probably be at least. Oh, there's one a cab, cab sitting. Park. There's like yeah. six cabs yeah. sitting outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, are you Elizabeth Neal? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> are they all like Maserati cabs though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That's yeah. What a horrible and car. No, they're all like pre eye. <laughs> I'm gonna ask pre-eye. for her like. You know, let's take her home, sort of thing. That's my plan. Thank you, Ms. Douglas. I don't know how. Look, this might be. Like I said, we're next door to the Capitol. This could be some sort of bonkers spy stuff. I'm just a hockey player, but I smell a rat. And you didn't remember what was going on. Something insane is happening. Please, I, I can tell that you value the quality of your job and the quality of the services you offer. Please put I your do. own safety first. I will. Thank you. What's your phone number? I'm going to call you tomorrow morning. She uh, gives you her Great. phone number. And I will. Like, Depending on what else goes on in these sessions, these campaigns, my goal is to call her or text her every morning and be like, Hi, just making sure you're alive and safe anything I can help with. So this but isn't like, just like a really elaborate way for you to get her number? No. I got you digits. <laughs> yeah. So that's my plan and then I... So as you're as yeah. you're outside, you notice that now uh, Mikkel is walking outside the garage with an elderly looking satyr. I'm gonna <laughs> like tap the top of the cab to indicate... It, it pulls out. Great. Make sure she's gone. That Like, I'm going to actually take an extra moment. Mikkel's smart girl. She can handle herself for a few minutes. A few minutes. She's, She's a, a smart tough girl. girl. She's, a few generous She's, seconds. She's a tough girl. <laughs> That's true. That is this true. Is true. Yeah. Stamina uh, four. <laughs> uh, but uh, make sure that I don't see another vehicle following the cab. Oh! Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, that's going to be a perception larceny. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. larceny. No, perception survival. Perception survival. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, that's a plus one difficulty because I don't have... It's a difficulty so I will spend a willpower. Whoop. Okay. Uh, that, if oh, you said it was diff... Seven, seven with your... with your Two, two successes. Uh, the cab is not being followed. Okay, perfect. Then I turn my attention to Mikkel and Lissander. Oh, hey, Dad. In the Seder. <laughs> Mickle in the Seder. Mick and Nick. <clears throat> oh, hey, Dad. He looks... <laughs> Dad? Starstruck? Hockey pen? No. Dad Douglas. Gordet Douglas. <gasps> and she... <laughs> he thrusts Fuck. out his hand... <laughs> Big smile all the way. Yes, that's right. Gordette. Incredible. As in Gord. As in every Canadian. Like Gord Downey, like Gord Douglas, like all the Gords of. Is there a Gord Douglas? I don't know. But like all the Gords of Canada fame. Not Gords, but Gords. Secrets revealed. Um, Loving it. Mikkel's going to have a field day, probably. What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gordon Douglas pocket? is a small business owner for Hernia <laughs> Helper Incorporated. Hey, the, uh, uh, but it is, he is Canadian. <laughs> okay. yeah, of course. Well, because it's, yeah. Because it's, uh, well, we just want to look up like things. Uh, Gordon Miller is a Canadian spa- sports commentator. Gord Bamford is Canadian singer. Basically, your name is Gord. You're a Canadian. Well, that unless you're true. Gordy Howe. He's not Canadian. Oh, no, he is Canadian. What am I saying? Yeah, I was like, excuse <laughs> me. Like, no, oh, he, but, he, but he played in Detroit. He, right, 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 right. He, yeah, yeah, he is yeah. Canadian. He Doesn't was, matter. He was born in Floral, Saskatchewan. Yeah, Gordy Gord. Dwyer, also a Canadian hockey player. I mean, incredible. Gordy Johnson, Canadian musician. Yeah, if your name's Gord, you're Canadian. I don't know. I made it up. This is Nick. <laughs> Mick. Nick. Nick. Um... And we're on our way to look for... Yes. Last name. Sorry. Anyway. The deceased individual who was garroted. Oh. Who? 
Oh, did you miss that? You went inside. <laughs> did, did he? Did he? No, I don't think Dad saw this. Whoops. Okay. Oh, well, boy. anyway, oh, someone. All right. <laughs> recap. I, like it, I recap that I witnessed an issue get garroted by a red cap, and then the satyr and the red cap threw her into the car and drove away. Do you also mention not- that he's here because of the prisoner you're currently holding? No, but I'm considering it. Okay. Uh, but not you, Red Cap, and not him, Seder. Correct. A different Mr. Red Cap Max. and Seder duo. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I do brag about the contract. Nice. Because I'm really proud of it. Yes. Whether or not you and I can agree over brutish affairs like sports, I can tell you more than anything that you don't need to concern yourself about such things as far as i am concerned our business is concluded but unless you find yourself in need of assistance again i think uh if you don't mind me saying i think i've learned my lesson i don't need to rely on the generosity of well the kindness perhaps of strangers for an offer like this again at least i hope not to It would be wise for you to keep yourself out of trouble. After all, being indebted to somebody is a horrible thing. It is. It is. I met someone actually not too long ago who had gotten into a situation I... I'm sorry, I don't want to bore you. Oh, you don't bore me, Mr. Burble. You just taken me for quite a bit of money. (laughs) Well, well, that's all right. I got something in return. Like I said, my luck was cresting tonight, I believe. Crusting or cresting? Uh, cresting. Let's go with cresting. Oh, it's Let's all crusting. crusting. It's crusting. Oh, my <laughs> luck. Oh, God. What do I do? Um, Scrape it off. <laughs> Scrape it <laughs> I I met someone not too long ago who had quite the story. They had lost everything and in an attempt to similarly find their way out of debt had ended up further in debt <laughs> sorry i think that it gets me i know time. i'm I so know. sorry, sorry <laughs> it ended up beholden to someone asked to do something that they didn't want to do tragic how circumstance can sometimes <sighs> destroy one's life i think you'll find mr burble that those who are desperate enough to come to me for help appreciate it no matter what. As a debtor, I'm much more generous than others. I don't wish to cast any aspersions on you. Not at all. I have no doubt. Mm. I would only wonder what someone of your incredible wealth would need anyone to be in your debt for. Have a pleasant evening, Mr. Burble. It's a beautiful night. He turns around and he starts walking towards the door that debt left by. I'm going to look down and start kind of like putting away my winnings. Um, The goal will be to cash them the hell out. Tell me your... Yeah, let's let's talk (laughs) Dexterity poker at a difficulty yep. of nine. Okay. <laughs> Chris that sounds about that sounds things. about right, actually, Pook. Darn. Fail. That's too bad. It was close. As you're putting your winnings quote unquote away, <laughs> although the thing is, you're really just packing up the chips. In this game, you were playing to clear your. Oh, that's debt to right. Him. It wasn't actually so like yeah. You're just yeah, packing right. up, and as you do, you just they all fumble out of your hands, and then they fall onto the ground and just spill everywhere on the ground. Uh, I immediately look up to the dealer for help. You can just let those lay, sir. We'll take care of it. Uh, all right. Um, sorry. <laughs> I was a bit excited about the win. Of course, sir. Um, I am going to just like gra- scoop a handful off the ground. I'm going to okay. pocket one of them. Okay. 
20. Okay. I don't. Uh, I have I, I my. I need you to roll that, though. I my need player you sense is tingling. Larceny. Fuck. <laughs> your wits larceny. Oh, dear. Against <laughs> the dealer's perception larceny. Um. Da, na, na, na. Oh, boy. Um, roll good. It's only the thing that they're trained to do. I know. It's like legitimately a thing here. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm spending a point of willpower. Okay. Join me. Woo. Thank you. Let's see how you do. I Survey love says our current stats. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> great. What was the... I'm untrained. So presumably In poker? No, no, uh, you said larceny. <laughs> oh, larceny? Oh, then it's a difficulty <laughs> plus one. Poker? So your difficulty is seven. Okay. Two successes. Beats my one. Incredible. Wow, burble. We need to get you new dice. I rolled nine nine five five three one. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. You, my you player have sense one poker chip. Is tingling here. Uh but I sort of like return a handful to the table and then look at the dealer again. Sorry. Sorry. I'll, Just leave them where I, they are, sir. I will, I will. I Th thank you. Of course. Good game. As you are you leaving? Yes, which, I know. Which way are you leaving? That's a great question. Um I'm gonna follow. Uh mm. yeah, I wanna see what he does. I'm gonna oh, follow God. him up the stairs, up up through and out the casino. As he's you, not there, he's not as there. you walk towards the door and you reach forward and you put your hand on the handle, the light that's above you bursts. <laughs> Like the light bulb. Yeah. Uh, it rains down relatively harmless shards onto you. I like turn immediately and look maybe towards the bar at the security detail. No one seems to. Well, you can't see the security detail anymore. Oh, right. Of course. Except yeah. for the the, the clank. knocker, Clank, who is behind the bar, who looks up and she looks as like, hmm? she looks sad. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, sir. Um, we'll see if we can sort that out. Oh, no, no problem. We'll I... gladly pay for your dry cleaning. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm sure the Duke will know where to find me. This way, sir. She motioning towards the same door or a different no, door? the other door. I thought so. Interesting. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not going to take the mickle way out and <laughs> just like kick the door anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll head for the other door. As you leave the other door, now the lights above are flickering. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Shit. <laughs> now listen. I need to know something very, very important while we're looking for uh, Tala. Do you know anything about a device called an APE. E. E. Right. Enhancement what? engine. It's not an ape. <laughs> Wait, something enhancement in what? Uh, an APE. -E. Ah, gotcha. There was a magic wand of some sort that was being used to make fights break out at the at, at games. No, it wouldn't be like that. What does it do? I don't know anymore. And I was hoping you could help me. Do we seem like tech savvy types to you? Right now, I could take any help I can get. I'll keep my eyes and ears open for the AP. AP. But if you don't know anything about what it looks like or what it does, it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to look at initials on anything that looks unfamiliar. No reason to believe that it has initials on it. I only know that somebody has eliminated my ability to remember what it is. Uh, death's face drops. <laughs> like, oh no, you dropped something? <laughs> I should pick I that just up. Like, I felt like I already looked surprised enough that there wasn't going to be enough of a change. <laughs> oh. oh. Like... No. One more question. 
Do you know who I am? You're Nick. Hey. <laughs> Nick, who? You're friends with Tella. I. You're friends with the Pisky. We, <clears throat> look, um, we. Have I know I'd check in for them time to time, but. <sighs> Someone is using. Uh, uh, I have a daughter of Greymare. Would I know the basic names of arts? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Someone is using chicanery on you. I, I know. <sighs> I'm afraid I might need your help a bit more than the. You're gonna come stay with us at uh, Frostleaf. Yeah, we should probably. Yeah, we should Frostleaf. probably let you know we are absolutely holding your friend there. It's okay. It's all right. But he's fine. That's fine. I made a contract with him too. <laughs> Did you hurt him at all? No. Then you and I are are, are square. It's fine. Great. Uh, get into my Camry. <laughs> we need to wait. Nice car. Thanks. Uh, Burble, as you're wandering your way out of the VIP garage, the lights okay. are like the lights may flicker a bit, and then they stop. But then, when you get towards the door, uh, you see that there's two construction people at there, and they turn around and they go, "Um, s- sorry, man. W- what's what's the problem? Motor burned out on this door." I don't know if I can get this open. Uh, you're going to have to go around. Oh. All right. Um, around where? Uh, there's a door just <laughs> on the other side of the barrier there. You can just, you can get out that way. Okay. Th- thanks. Um, sorry about that. This must be annoying. <laughs> yeah. No, no problem. Oh, God. I will wander towards the other door. Sure. Get to the other door. Yeah. Is it like a, one of them one of them slidey garage doors? No, it's like a push bar door oh. that you can oh, get. Okay. I'm just going to push my way out, John. Now you push and it's locked. Yeah. That's our food. Uh, Burble's inner monologue yeah, sounds a little tough. something like this. My God, what's happening to me? Does it have something to do with this chip in my pocket? So are you trying to get out of the garage right now? Like, where are you? Yeah. So, yeah. You're I... in the garage and we've successfully left the... I don't know, because I was about to be like, I'm going to go... And, and find that's our food, so verbal. we're going to have to... Gasp! Uh, but, I assume, mm-hmm. that or it's neighbor slash landlord being like, there's a gas leak, or... Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, Burble's about to get hit over the head Sorry, with something hard. I desperately want to touch these bags, so I'm going oh, to... Oh, they're very nice, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah. So I, I figured I'd be prevented from leaving the VIP room, but it doesn't sound like it. Sounds like oh. in the garage, you guys. And I think we're also because you parked. Building. Didn't you park in like an out? No, no. I got. I went into the VIP. I went into the VIP parking as well. So I think we're all in the VIP parking yeah, it's area. A big, it's a big region though, so like you probably. Well, no. You two made your way outside. We did get outside. So you I got did, outside, yes. Yeah, because I was out front mm, getting a mm, taxi. Mm, mm. Yeah. And then okay. you were there somehow. Right, that's true. And yeah. you had gone on the walk and talk mm-hmm. to look for right. Tala. So you had okay, to so we can't see Burble. We're nowhere near at him. The moment, no. Gotcha. Uh, uh, but at the mention of You do him, hear a thud at the door, I at guess. At the mention of him, I am going to go try to make my way towards the, the place where you drove in with our car to drop oh, me off. Sorry, is it locked? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Man, I'm sorry. You're trying to leave right as... The security details, it's just really bad luck. Yeah, was... and he clicks the door open and he pushes it open for you. Thanks. Again. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you see Burble starting to wander out of the VIP parking garage. Hey, leave him over. Hey, everyone. Hey. Um, I look at the new arrival and just nod. Uh, I make introductions. I know you from YouTube. <laughs> Didn't think anyone would recognize me from there. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, do. He remembers all of us, but he doesn't remember <laughs> himself. Someone's getting intense with chicanery. Um, we need to get lunch. Did Heck you get out of here? You can say fuck. It's all right. I'm a big boy. I'm a, supposed to be encouraging for youth, so I should probably not swear so much. A dick's casting there. shick. Yeah, that. Youths? You swear more than knockers. Yes, but on TV, their parents will hear that I swear, and then their parents will get mad and not let their kids watch me play hockey, and their kids will end up rotting behind a desk for the rest of their lives. Anyway. I feel called out. (laughs) (laughs) 
You didn't watch enough hockey, John. That's what this yeah. is. I, I'm literally behind a desk. <laughs> There's another desk. Oh, oh, God, they're everywhere. I would not consider you rotting. Um, <laughs> You know what? Yeah. Our food is here. Yeah. It's gonna get cold. I'm going to suggest that maybe this is actually a good point to stop. I know it's early. But our food. But, like, we're kind of at a good yeah, transition yeah, yeah, point. Yeah, for sure. We okay with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Burble's hand goes to the chip in his pocket. That's where I would leave my like last shot for. Besides, we got a couple of cool announcements to make. <gasps> Yay! So clap, 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 clap. Um, let me ask then first. Okay, uh, no, Scott. Yes, Scott. Highlight a play. I will. Um, I'm gonna highlight. I think I actually highlighted Kate last week or last time as well. But I'm gonna lies. Tell me something you learned. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. That's a great question. Um, I learned that. Uh, uh, I learned that Burble believes. Well, no. Okay. When when the Duke said like, oh, sport is just like violent and brutish. I learned that Burble doesn't necessarily disagree. Like, I don't think he likes <gasps> violence in sports, but he believes that they are. Uh, more useful to society as They're a way to positive. find yourself. It's a net positive for the self, not for the team necessarily, uh, right? I think that's interesting. interesting. That's what I learned. Kate? I learned that um, debt can try to lie her way through a situation, but only so far, and as soon as she's realized she's getting caught out, she bails. <laughs> interesting. Uh, very similarly with Mikkel. <laughs> um, the thing I struggled with this session was like feeling like she would have pushed back more, but me, Liz, struggling to think of what to say. Mm. So I think I think Mikkel would have verbally sparred a bit longer than she actually did. So what I'm learning is like, yeah, she still like had that pushback. Interesting. Impulse. Scott, a play? I'm going to highlight a play. I'm going to highlight Kate as debt again. Uh, again, from several weeks ago. Uh, Kate, I really enjoyed today when you were, uh, you like left like storm, or uh, when Det stormed out of the room and then went and found the security, uh, head of security and basically forced her to come to a reckoning with the mists and, or whatever is mm -hmm. happening. It might not be just the mists or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, because I would, the reason I liked it is because it was such an unexpected move to like put somebody in confrontation with that. It was such a like not the easiest way forward, but it was really effective. And I felt like it was a cool turning point in the story between the two of you. Yeah. Um, I want to call out Mikkel getting into, she put herself into the tough situation of forcing her way in. And then when the situation was not budging in the direction she wanted to, was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. But on my own terms, I'm going to take my hundred credits, whatever fucking dollars, I guess, <laughs> yeah. uh, and a bottle of booze because fuck you, I'm Mickle. Like, really, really nice to accept defeat, but on her terms in a way. Like, fuck you, I'm Mickle. Fuck mm, the shit, yeah. I'm out. The Elizabeth Neal story. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, and I just thought that verbal, like, showed incredible bravery that the fact that his two allies left and he stayed and even though it's clear things are going in a really sketchy direction he just kept like making pleasant small talk with people and like pushing the duke like it, it was really and if i had lost yeah <laughs> That's it. Like bad news. <laughs> it was really, and and I think it, I, th I think that was brave. Yeah, because sure, there's I'll like take it. bravery and there's foolhardiness and all of that. But like he just, he was just like, I'm here to do a job. I ride, and the I line. will continue to do it <laughs> in these games um, quite often, which I loved. Yeah, there which, you I, go. which I loved. So, uh, I want to highlight the introduction of the Duke. Like, <laughs> yeah. I just I love a good evocative character introduction, and I really felt like uh, the Duke and by extension Clank were like really really cool characters to meet totally undermined my sense uh of who they might have been but like it was pretty fucking sweet yeah 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 when he said i apologize for my language yeah it's fantastic that was so Good cool because i've literally never seen a knocker like depicted in that way he said damn yeah i know the sweariest of swears <laughs> 
Uh, I know that we're ending a bit early today. However, I will say that we have some cool stuff coming up. Tuesday? Tuesday is a stream on my channel. That's Biff. Uh, Biff. <laughs> Biff. The boss. Ca. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I should. Twitch.tv slash Biff the boss. Uh, Chief Inspector Stryker continues his venture through Revishal. Uh, he's found a fridge and lost his pants again. You know, the usual. That said, stay tuned because I have it on good authority that the Doctor Surgeon is returning to several different career paths, Mortuary's assistant, and possibly some more surgical technique streams shortly. I'm very excited about that. Uh, on Wednesday, look, I know I started playing Super Mario Odyssey and it was fun, but here's Odyssey. the thing. There's a game called Cult of the Lamb <gasps> that's here, and apparently if you watch somebody stream it, you can join their cult by, like, choosing what you look like and all of this stuff, like, because as you get a cult member, it'll randomly assign it to somebody who wants it in the chat. Mm. So I kind of oh have to, can it's a roguelike? Oh. So I kind of have to play it. Yeah. So I think that's what's going to be happening Sign on Wednesday. Sign me up. Weirdness is in. On Weirdness is in for a cult. Thursday. Ah. Should I be doing that? Oh, because <laughs> I forgot. Whoops. Yay, here we uh, go. On Thursday will be the start of a new sort of clinic hours that we've been running. Um, this one is going to be about actually designing a game from scratch. We're going to talk about various topics like probability engines and narrative design as it relates to those mechanics and what would I choose to do for any particular game. Um, I'm going to be posting a bunch of topics online that we can discuss before we come into the thing. We'll do polls. It's going to be kind of driven by you, but mostly my design um, at the same time. I'm kind of excited. It seems like it's going to be neat mm. to, to go into this because I've had a lot of people ask about what I would do if I was going to make my own shit. Well, here you go. That's going to be on Thursday. Five. Well, mm, might be a bit earlier. Might actually be closer to, to four, four thirty. Uh, the time will be announced on our Discord. Friday. Uh, Friday, we are continuing the punch effect. The party approaches. <laughs> Guys, we're so excited. so close for the party. There's a party coming. Uh, and then Saturday. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> Literally, the fate of the galaxy doesn't matter. Saturday, we're back with uh, Drew Crew, and Nancy Drew, and Yay. the secret of the Wooden Lady. Um, and then that evening. And that evening, I believe there's yeah, there's probably more doomed. Um, we had a we had a real tragedy on Saturday, my friends. Uh, it's devastating, but that's okay. Silas, the blessed sexy sailor, <laughs> continues his romp. So through sexy. In he he's really hot uh, through Innsmouth, and there's going to be a good time. Next Sunday, all things willing, there should be another Changeling of the World session. Same RPG Clinic time, same RPG Clinic channel. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, otherwise, uh, we'll see you on our Discord. Ba bam! Uh, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Honestly, it's been cool. Uh, to be able to sit here with the rest of you. Thanks for that hype train earlier. That was super sweet. Um, look, we would love to hear feedback and stuff on our Discord. Uh, that would be really handy for us. Just let us know what you think. Let us know if you think it's good or bad. Honestly, we kind of need both. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, go out and get... Like, we're, some of us are up to four. Uh, All up to four, I think. Yeah, now. and... Five's coming pretty Five's soon, yeah. actually. Yeah, pretty like, soon. Just go and get, like, needles are fun, folks. Just go get Whoa. shot. I'm getting an ear tattoo tomorrow. Yes, Amazing. she is. Needles. Yeah. My Loads. God. Uh, but even if you hate needles, thank you for braving it. <laughs> yeah. If you can, and if you can't, thank you, those of you who can, for braving it for those who cannot. Yes. Special thanks, of course, to Bleeds the Light Invincible Kung Fu Funners for uh, hanging out here. Uh, folks thanks so much we're gonna go and get some dinner and the direction of dinner is this way and then it's also that way actually literally really let's go see you next time <laughs> bye, uh, bye. <laughs>